The long journey home is now on the Nintendo Switch! Let's take a look and see how this version does on the portable console. The Long Journey Home starts you off as a crew of four testing the first ever jump drive across space. And as you can imagine, things go horribly wrong. The Long Journey Home plays like a 2D roguelike space explorer that has you planet hopping across a randomly generated universe to grab just enough resources to get home. The game autosaves for you, so it actively encourages you to start things anew if things get a little... Uh, rough. The best part of the Long Journey Home is that it really benefits from the portability of the Switch. The console is geared towards short gaming sessions, and that's mostly what the Long Journey Home comprises of. Hopping from planet to planet and just dropping in for a couple minutes to get those metals, gases, and minerals. The custom ability of the ships and crew allow for some great replayability as well. Speaking of the crew, easily my favorite part was listening to them talk to each other. Whether it was fantasizing about astronaut ice cream, making a dig at old sci-fi movies, or asking each other for <coughs> expertise. Patrick Bow Wow. Now, this wasn't to say The Long Journey Home didn't come without some things to improve. The game's tutorial is lackluster, and I found most of what I had to learn about the game was from trial and error. Even with all that you may learn, you could still be stuck in a random system with deadly planets all around. Plus, the lander control was... difficult. The lander is what you use to gather resources on the planets, and it's absolutely vital to progress, but it's extremely difficult to control. You have bottom and top boosters that can be slightly directed in which way you're pointing at with your control stick. However, even after 8 hours of play, I still kept blowing my lander up. Lastly, there was a major bug that I ran into while playing the game. After leaving a planet, you can go into your ship to manage your newly harvested resources, but when you press minus to go to your ship, it crashed the game. If it had only happened once, I wouldn't even mention it, but it was every single time I left a planet, and at least three times within 10 minutes. Overall, The Long Journey Home is a great pick up and play game. The roguelike space harvesting elements are complemented on the Switch, and combine that with interesting writing between the crew and even aliens made this game very entertaining. The lack of explanation of how the game works and the difficulty will put off the more easygoing gamers, but those willing to push forward through it may find the Long Journey Home's challenge ultimately rewarding. I'm giving this game a 6. Wait, is that an X Files reference on Zo's shirt? Okay, never mind. Bonus points. I'm giving this game a 6.5 out of 10. The Long Journey Home was published by Daedalic Entertainment. It's available on PS4, PC, Mac, Xbox One, and Switch. The Long Journey Home was played on a Nintendo Switch, and a review code was provided for this report. Until next time, play like a rogue!